Hello, everybody, and welcome to my overpowered early guide, Strength Build for Elden Ring. Uh, now, this is kind of like the other overpowered build guide I made, except this is specifically for strength-based builds. But it consists of a heavy vice under plus five. I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. But it has the Warcry Ashivor. What this does is it just makes your charge attacks a lot more beefy than what they are. Uh, it also gives you, like, I think a little bit of an attack boost, but not a major one. And it also consists of the Iron Set, I think it's called the Iron Set, and the Radagon Sorcerer Talisman. You can actually do the build without it. Uh, it will make your life a little easier having it on, though, because it does give you more strength as well. Uh, but if you don't want to use it, if you're scared about the 15% more damage you take, which won't really matter for early game, you can throw on the Axe Talisman, which will make your charge attacks even crazier. You'll be doing like five or 600 damage a single charge attack with this build, I think. Uh, also, once you kill the first boss of the game, you get your second Talisman slot, and then you can just run both of these, which makes the build like seriously broken. Uh, it's a level 35 build. You can also get the entire build done in just shy of an hour. It might take you a little longer because you have to follow stuff on the guide, but it is a phenomenal build. Let me know what other builds I should do in the comments. I'm thinking I might do an intelligence overpowered early guide, like a sorcerer guide. Also, I didn't really say it in this video, but you should always make sure that you're two-handing your weapon. When you two-hand weapons in this game, you're getting a bunch more damage. Because whenever you two-hand a weapon, it gives you more strength. As for what's in the Wondrous Physic, I put the Spiked Cracked tier, which makes your charge attacks even better. And also the Strength Knot Crystal tier, which just boosts strength by, I think, like, it's 10. Which, if you do drink it, you'll see our stats total is 28 Vigor, 22 Endurance, and 43 Strength. I hope you enjoy the build, and let's get it started. So for the pure strength build, the class we're going to want to choose is Hero. It has the highest starting strength, as well as some pretty high starting vigor. The two best starting gifts are probably Golden Seed or the Stone Sword Key. I would just go with the Golden Seed because I'm not interested with most of the side content. And once you arrive in Limgrave, we're going to have uh, an entire route to go to make sure we get everything that we need for the build. But the first thing you're going to do is just touch the grace and then make it over to that church over there. From the church, you're going to want to follow the path along over here until you get to this grace. Make sure you rest so you can get your horse and also leveling. And what we're going to do is go on the horse. And over here is a map. Maps are really useful in this game. They just show you where everything is. And you go down here. Open the door. And then you get the whetstone knife, which is something we're going to need for this build. And you can just fast travel back to the grace. Now as for the route that we're taking, from the gate front side of grace, keep on riding along until you get over here. Keep on riding along until you get to this grace. And keep on following the path until you get to this church right here. And also make sure you grab the scarred tier and the flask of wondrous physic, which will be right here. Make sure you rest and upgrade your flasks. And then from the Agile Lake North side of Grace, just keep on riding along down here, and right about here will be a side of Grace. And then once you're at this side of Grace right here, you're going to want to follow the path that I take. And there's going to be uh, a pretty useful weapon for a ruined farm that we're going to want to grab here. And right where that caravan is, is where the weapon is. Once you grab the Morning Star, there's also a uh, smithing stone too right there that you're going to need. Stone. Keep on following the path until you get to this side of Grace, and there's also a merchant here. On your horse, go over here and grab the map, and then just run back to the grace. And now, from your map, there's going to be a few places we're going to want to go. First is, you're going to want to follow the path here, and this will lead you to another side of grace. Keep on following the path here, that's going to lead you to a church. And from this church, you go down here, and you're going to find another church. And then from this church, you can go down over here, and there's going to be a shack with a merchant that has the weapon we're going to need to buy. 
Once we get over to the church, there will be a tier. And then once you're at this church right here, there is another tier waiting for you. And then once you get over to the shack, there's going to be this merchant right here. And you're going to need 5,000 runes total. And I'm going to show you guys where to get all those runes. From the site of grace right here, you're going to want to travel to it. Then you're going to want to go on your horse. And then once you're on your horse, go over here. And tucked away in these bushes is a teleporter. The teleporter is going to take you into the Dragon Burrow area. Open this door. And then grab the Site of Grace inside. And then if you follow the route that I go, you shouldn't really have any problems in this area. Do not mess with that guy. He is a full boss fight. Make sure you grab the golden seed here too. And that bridge over there is kind of where we're aiming to go for. Get the grace. Run past the dragon on the bridge. And once you pass the bridge, follow the path here. And you can loot the gravesite to get yourself a bunch of ruins. Be careful when you're coming down here to not fall and kill yourself. It's kind of easy to die here. But get the Sight of Grace. And now we're going to use all the rune items. And that should give you just enough runes, if not more. But if it does not, we are actually at a pretty good rune farm. From this grace right here, you just ride down here. And there's going to be a boulder that tries to kill you. But what you can do is you can kind of cheese it to fall off, and it gives you 2,000 runes every time you do it. But go back to the isolated merchant shack, and we're going to buy from him our weapon we're going to be using, and all of the smithing stone too as he sells. Also, buy the lantern. It's really useful if you're exploring a cave or something. Last thing we're going to want to do in this part of the area is there's a golden seed we're going to want to get over here, as well as a tier. But from the castle Morn rampart side of grace, Go on your horse, and we're going to go out here. And kind of stay on the path that I'm going. This is going to get you another golden seed. And then once you get it, just run back to the grace. Also, once you rest at any side of grace, make sure you go to the round table hold. From the Castle Morn Rampart side of grace, you're going to want to keep on following the path over here until you get yourself to this church up here, and it's going to hold another tier. Then what you're going to want to do is go back to Third Church America side of grace, and then we're going to want to get this map right here. Once you get the map, you're going to want to head over here, and then also over to these ruins. Once you're at the giant tree, you can grab these and... If you don't know what they're for, the golden potion you have, you put these in there and it gives you cool effects. And where the ruins are, there is a sleeping bear. Now this is called a ruin bear, and you're not going to want to wake them up like I just did, because they will murder you. But open the door. And get the talisman. And you should still be able to fast travel out of here. Then we're going to go back to the Third Church America side of Grace, and ride along over to about here. There's going to be one of those giant bears fighting a bunch of wolves. We're not going to want to be a part of this fight, so we're just going to grab the stone and then run away. But now we got that smithing stone, you're going to want to go back to the gatefront side of Grace. 
then keep on going up here to get another set of grace also make sure you grab the golden seed here once you get to Stormhill shack there's gonna be a few things that we're gonna want to do first talk to her we get the jellyfish summon the next places you're gonna want to go is you're gonna want to go up here to get the strength and not crystal tier and then go over here to Warmaster shack once you get over here grab the physic and then get to War Master Shack and you're gonna wanna buy Warcry. And then right over where all the giants are, you're gonna wanna run over here and you're gonna wanna get uh, one of the giants' attention. And you're gonna wanna make him break the statue. Then try and safely grab the smithing stones here. And now back from the Bridge of Sacrifice side of Grace, you might have already grabbed him, but somewhere right about here is more smithing stones. Right over here, three more smithing stones. I'm actually surprised these guys didn't even notice me at all. And as you can see, we have ten smithing stone ones and six smithing stone twos. We're gonna need two more smithing stone ones. And the easiest way to get these is just to go over to this cave right here. Get the grace. And we're only going to need two of the smithing stones down here. So you're going to want to kill this guy. It's not that you do bad damage. It's just these guys are really resistant to like everything except magic. But grab that smithing stone. And there's another smithing stone down here. You actually don't have to fight these guys. You can just grab it and then run away. But all we needed was those two smithing stones. You can still explore this area if you want. Honestly, I would recommend it because you can get a lot of smithing stones down here. But now, I go back up the elevator so you can actually leave. Then go back to the Lenny's Rise side of Grace. And then I just follow the exact path that I take. Make sure the boulder doesn't kill you. Another one is also going to spawn. Touch the side of grace. Then you're going to want to hug this wall right here. And that giant sleeping dragon over there, we're going to kill it. Now before we kill the dragon, there's actually more stuff we're going to want to do. First is you're going to want to go back to the Lenny's Rise side of Grace and get yourself about 10,000 runes. If you still don't know how the farm works, you just go on your horse, run down, and when the boulder spawns, you choose it to fall off, and you're given runes by doing that. Another thing that I actually forgot to do is you're going to want to go to the first step side of Grace. So just go on your horse. Follow the path that I take. And 
and jump right down here. Then grab the gold pickled foul foot. And then once you have a 10,000 ruins, go back to the round table. And we're going to want to upgrade the weapon that we're using. You can get to plus 5, and then for Ashes of War, we're going to want to put on a War Cry with a Heavy Infusion. Then go back to the Castle Morn Rampart Side of Grace. And you're going to want to buy the Iron Set from him. I actually don't have enough ruins, so I'm going to have to go and get more. But now, we can buy the full set from him. And as you can see, with all of our equipment, we are at a heavy load. We're going to need more endurance, but we are going to get a ton of levels in just a second here. But go back to 4th Faroth, Site of Grace. And we're going to do something like a suicide. Just follow the path that I go, and you can get the item pretty easily. Once you're up the ladder, make sure to open this chest and grab the item, because it's important to get to another area of the game. Then jump down here, and we're just going to run past everything without dying. So jump over here, fall down here, and we're going to have to do a jump. Uh oh, jump right here. There's going to be a ton of rats here, just run past these. And grab the item. But now that we got the item, which is the Radagon's Sword Seal Talisman, what this does is it gives plus 5 in Vigor, Endurance, Strength, and Dexterity. Of course, it gives points in Strength, so we're going to want a lot of Strength. Uh, it does make you take 15% increased damage, but for the early game, that won't really matter too much. But what we're going to want to do is put on the Morning Star. Now what we're going to do is we're going to keep on swinging at the dragon until he dies. The dragon does have a lot of health, but you've seen we did 13,000 damage there just now, and that's because the Morning Star has a bleed buildup, and bleed it does massive, massive damage in this game. We're about to kill the dragon when he gets about this low. Use the Gold Pickled Foulfoot, and you're going to want to kill him quickly because it doesn't last forever. It only lasts for like 3 minutes. And then after he dies, you're given 90,000 ruins. Now as for what we're leveling, I would go to 23 Vigor, I'd get our Endurance maybe to 17, but the rest I would just be putting in a Strength. Uh, now we actually have to put uh, two of these into Dexterity, but 28 Strength total is what we're going to have with this build. There's just one last thing that we have to do, we're going to have to go back to Church of Ella and talk to Ronnie. And then you're going to get the Wolves. That is the complete build. You should have a heavy Zweisunder plus 5, I think it's how you pronounce the name, with the Warcry Ash of War. You should also have the full iron set. And you should also have Redagon Sword Sealed and the Charge Attack Talisman, or the Axe Talisman as it's called. Also make sure when you rest you go to Flasks and you make sure that you upgrade everything. As for what to put in the Wondrous Physic, you should put the Spiked Cracked Tear, which boosts charge attacks. But to test the power of this build, we're going to be fighting the first boss of the game. Also, spoiler warning if you didn't already realize, but... Drink the Physic, summon the Wolves. And I actually forgot to do the Ash of War. I mean, just look at that. That is monstrous damage.
And you don't even have to do charge attacks, you can just do the light attacks and you're still doing a good amount of damage. That tree sentinel dude that kept on giving you trouble at the beginning of the game? All I can say is we're about to give him a lot more trouble than he gave us. All it takes is just two hits to stagger him. I mean, we didn't even get hit there. I am using the second talisman slot that you get from killing Margit, but even without the charge attack talisman, you're still getting really good damage.